before we start making mandelas in Illustrator, I want to start with the basics of using symbols just to create first a copied image and then a reflected image. So I'm going to change the stroke to a lighter gray because we're just using the stroke as a guide. Use the rectangle tool or M on your keyboard. Create one rectangle and then go to window and symbols. Click what looks like a post-it note to create a new symbol. From what I have read, it doesn't matter the export type that you select. I just switch to graphic and hit OK. And then with that rectangle selected, use Command C and Command F to copy and then paste it in front. Use V on your keyboard to select or use your selection tool and move that top layer over and you have your two rectangles. So double click on that very first one that you created and it will pop up with this. Just go ahead and click OK. And you can use whatever tool you want. I'm just going to use the blob brush because it's the easiest. And I'm going to switch the color to black just because it'll be easier to see. So I'm just going to go in and do a little doodle. Hit V on your keyboard to use your selection tool and double click. So when you go out, you will see that whatever you created in that very first rectangle has now appeared in that second copied rectangle. So if you were to click on this, say you want to do a reflected image, all you would have to do is go to Object, Transform, and Reflect and hit OK. So you could have started before you even drew in your very first rectangle. If you would have reflected it, it automatically would have created this. So at any point you can always go back into that first rectangle. Once again, it's going to pop up with that notice and you can draw like all around the edge and you will notice, I'm just going to put in some of these just so you can see, um, that it has now created a reflected image. So we're going to use all of this to create a mandala. So I'm just going to go ahead and just delete everything. Select your polygon tool and click down once. And I want 12 sides. Um, you can do any number that you would like, but make sure that it is easily divided into two. So, sh so it should be an even number. Just going to enlarge this. And then using the align tool, I'm going to center it on my artboard. And I want to change that stroke again to a lighter gray just because it's a guide. And I'm going to select the line tool, select any anchor point and go to the center and just continue this all the way around Okay, once you have all of your lines in, use your selection tool to grab everything and then go to your Pathfinder tool. If you don't see it, go to Window and Pathfinder and then use the Divide tool, which is the bottom left, and then right click Ungroup. And I want to keep this one that is to the right of the top center. 
and you can delete everything else. And the reason that I'm keeping this one is because I want to do the reflected image and when you are rotating this one, the next step is right here and it's just easier to reflect. So select the triangle that you have left and use the symbol tool. Once again, if you don't see it, go to window and symbols. Use a post-it note to create a new symbol. Hit OK. And then using the keyboard shortcut R to rotate, hold down Alt or Option and click the very, very bottom anchor point. And to go fully around, it's 360 degrees and we had 12 sides. So divide by 12. And just to make sure that it is going in the right spot, click preview and you can see that it is in fact rotating the way that we want it to. So copy. And then with it selected, go to object, transform and reflect. And I'm not sure why when it reflects it moves, but just go ahead and click OK. And we're just going to move this into place. Now select both of the triangles and hit R on the keyboard again to rotate. Hit or hold down the Alt button. And this time, once again, we're going around completely, so 360 degrees divided by, this time we're going to count both those pieces as one. Um, so there are 12 sides divided by two, so six. So this time rotate 360 degrees divided by six and preview it. It looks correct. Go ahead and copy and hit Command D to duplicate what you just did until you have completed the polygon. So just like we did with the rectangle, let's go into this very first one. Double click. OK. I'm going to zoom in a little bit better to see what I'm doing with the Mandela. So Command and the plus sign. And I am going to start with a circle or an ellipse and I'm changing the color to black so that it's easier to see. And then I'm going to use my pen tool. I'm just going to switch this to a stroke. and add in a couple dots or circles. So you can use the pen tool, you can use like the ellipse. You can also use, I wanna show you how to use the um, the line tool so select your line tool and just go between the two that we've made And I can see this one is overhanging just slightly, so I'm just going to select that anchor point and pull it up to the intersection. So 
So if you want to take a second, any time that you are creating your mandala, I'm just going to hit Command and Zero to go back out to the full size, and then double click on your artboard and you can see how it is now creating the reflected image all the way around. And if you want more of a loose design, you can go in and once again, this is going to pop up every single time you go in to edit. You can use like the blob brush and do pretty much the same thing. So this is really great, like I said, if you want more of like a hand-drawn look or if you just really want to take the time and relax and do a full Mandela by hand. It works really great if you have like a Wacom tablet. I'm doing all of this with my mouse. So I'm going to zoom out and double click and you will see how it completely, like I said before, reflects all the way around your polygon and you have very quickly and easily created a Mandela and Illustrator.